In this video, we'll introduce you to a benefits program called COBRA and explain just how it works. COBRA is a program created by the federal government that gives you the opportunity to continue in your employer's sponsored health plan when you lose your job. Since it was created by the federal government, it has a long, confusing name based on a bill passed in the 1980s, the Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. To make it easy, we just say COBRA. So how does it work? You are eligible for COBRA if your company's health plan covers at least 20 employees and you have had an acceptable qualifying event. Qualifying events for COBRA are those events that cause a loss to your health care coverage. These events for an employee include voluntarily quitting your job, having your hours cut back, or losing your job for most any reason other than gross misconduct like stealing. As long as your spouse or other dependents were covered on your medical plan before the qualifying event, they too can be covered with you on COBRA. In fact, they can even have access to your health plan for COBRA coverage apart from you in the case of the same qualifying events we already discussed or if you were to become eligible for Medicare, you went through a divorce or legal separation, and in the untimely case of your death. Assuming you have one of these qualifying events, your employer is responsible for notifying you of your option to choose COBRA. Once receiving notice, you have at least a 60-day grace period to decide if you want to enroll. If you choose COBRA, you can keep it for up to 18 months starting from the date of the qualifying event. For individuals with certain disabilities, they may be able to extend that an additional 11 months. And now, the burning question. How much does it cost? Before starting COBRA, you split the cost of your health plan in some way with your employer so that you paid some of the cost and they paid some of the cost. Now that you are no longer qualified for the employer's contribution, you pay the full cost of the plan, all 100%. In addition, there is a 2% fee to cover the cost of administering the COBRA program, so your total monthly cost is actually 102% of the cost of the plan. Despite the expense, this still might be the most cost-effective way to get a quality health plan compared to alternatives available to you at the time. Your employer's health plan has the benefit of being group rated, which often results in lower rates, and employer plans have less restrictions on covering expenses for pre-existing conditions. So be sure and do adequate research on both cost and the levels of coverage on a plan before you decide whether to choose COBRA or some other option. In summary, COBRA provides the ability for you and the dependents covered on your health plan to maintain your coverage after losing your job. The cost is generally 102% of the plan cost and you can keep it for up to 18 months. And that is COBRA. May your newfound benefits knowledge guide you until next time.